Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back. I have the most wonderful garden to show you guys today. This is Sarah Helen Yost. She is an artiste, right? Fabric artiste. Fabric yes. artiste, but also a gardener artist. Like I cannot wait to show you all her garden. It, the textures, the colors are absolutely beautiful. Sarah Helen was also on the Pence Gallery garden tour with me this past Sunday. I am on Honored to be in the tour with this garden. Mm, uh, thank you. <laughs> it was an honor to be in the tour. Wasn't also. it? Oh, it was, it was fun, a dream. Fun. I'm so excited yeah, to yeah. be a part of it. And great, I'm excited to see these people. gorgeous gardens. Yeah. And now I've met an amazing gardener. It's really great. You that, guys. That connection, that bond of it, gardening is it's, amazing. It's incredible. So yeah. let's get started. We're going to get started with the front yard, which is a, you'll see, it's a south facing front yard, very bright sun. You know, and we're in hot Davis zone 9B, but you, you guys have to see what Sarah Helen has done. Okay, ma'am, look at this garden, it's incredible. So how long have you lived in this house? I have lived in this house 36 years. Oh my goodness, and have you been gardening the whole time? Well, there was a few times I wasn't because I did raise four boys. Oh. But this was my place to get out get a workout, get away from craziness. Yes, and escape. I was also needing to transform the yard because it was all Bermuda grass mm. and junipers. Okay. So we needed a little bit of variety. Just a little, and I think you achieved that. I, I'm thinking so. <laughs> it I'm is thinking so. everywhere you look, there is just something else to see, something. And then as you were saying, it changes throughout the season. Yes. As you know, just two weeks ago, you sent me a picture and it looked completely different than it looks today. It's right. absolutely incredible. Let's get started with this plant right here. What is this? Okay. I always just call it the Chilean succulent. Chilean I have succulent. I have the other name for it inside the house. Oh, don't worry about but other we're, names. We're good. Don't we're worry good. about other names. <laughs> yes, it can be um it is available definitely at Annie's annuals and it is a prolific bloomer and will fill up your space. If you don't even have a big space, it will fill it up for you and give you stellar color. The color is, it's electric. It's like an electric purple. It is. And it's a succulent, you guys. If you look deep down in there, you can see the succulent. So that's gonna, that's gonna do really well in these hot climates. It does, it does, so it does So it's something great. that blooms that's in this hot climate. Right, and, then and you... the bees love it. Bees, yes. butterflies. I, this yard is definitely a pollinator garden. You can see, you'll look around you know we saw birds we had we saw a scrub jay come by they're all over the place they're absolutely beautiful these ni nifofia which i call what is it um red hot poker red hot poker yes. that's yes, that's a yes, better yes, name yes. for it <laughs> That's a, I can only remember those simple names, right? I like it. It's, I think that good, that's but, gorgeous. But it is prolific this year, I think, because we've had so much water. Yes. It's amazing. Now, amazing. is your garden on irrigation? Yes. Okay. Yes. And, and we were down, of course, because of the um, drought. They've kind of lifted, I think, the water yeah. usage, yep. but we still are, it's two times a week and we oh, water at like 5.30 in the morning. Perfect. So Perfect. It, it's that, good. Two times a week? I'm yeah. impressed. Yeah. yeah. So Sarah Helen has added pathways, little secret pathways everywhere in the garden. It's, they're just so beautiful. Why don't you take us up this way? Okay, up the path through this red flower is flax. It's gorgeous. Everybody loves this also. It reseeds every year. Super yeah. easy. We just throw it in here and it comes into fruition of the days. So you do a lot of seed. A lot of, these are sweet peas, which Gorgeous. most everybody loves. The yep. sweet pea, the yes. scent is fabulous. So they incredible. Kinda, you can get them working around pretty much anything. It's it beautiful. She's up. got them behind so her over here. So we've got them here. up here. And we have some more of this Chilean succulent stuck in right in here also. It's beautiful. So, and it's so fun. You'll see she has art. Art by Eileen Hendren, who is an amazing ceramic artist and a super great friend. That's good. <laughs> that, that's yeah. so meaningful, it, right? It is. It's, it so, is. It, it's so great to have that meaningful little things all around your garden. And you can see I love cactus. Look at and ca this. cactus are great. You can have them in tiny little pots and then you can make them into bigger cactus as you put them in a bigger pot. This right? started out at only a couple inches tall. Oh my goodness. So we are, yeah. And then there are other kinds of 
um, these spiny aloe veras that you like to keep in a container because they're pretty deadly if you will um, get stuck. Stuck so, from <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you right, want to protect right. yourself just a little bit. Exactly. Let's go this okay. way. I want you to show them your garden art over by your hose. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I believe that you can plant anything in any type of container. Can you guys tell what it is? Take a close look here. You see, it's porcelain. Yeah, it's, white. it's white. It's got a little bowl right here. Right. That's right. <laughs> this it's is one of those things. One of One three? of, well, two, two, um, toilets. toilets. And I have used the backs of this toilet is out in the back. Oh, I love with it. Plants in it. And oh, then I love the it. other toilet has a really amazing piece of planter planting in it. <laughs> okay. So we'll, we'll show we'll that. We'll go see we'll it in the backyard. That. Yes. One thing I have to tell you guys, the smell of this garden as you walk through and you brush against one of the plants, you get just this amazing whiff. All these different scents, all these different colors. It is a sensory garden. It is absolutely incredible. She has sunflowers. Sunflowers. <laughs> Already. They're look, up there. look at how tall they are. <laughs> Pretty tall. And Pretty these reseed in itself. They reseed and they have a lot of help from the finches. Oh, nice. The finches will come and they will eat the seeds. They'll drop the seeds and it's really great. This is it's a, a magical, this, this garden has some type of magical touch to it. To have a sunflower this early in the year, the sweet peas are blooming beautifully. Everything is just, it's so beautiful. And then you guys know this one. I always uh, talk about the yes. Santa Barbara sage. It oh, is amazing. Oh my goodness. And it's blooming already yes, for you. The hummingbirds will be here. They're in the back. But they'll be coming out. They'll be coming this way. Because they love, love, love it. Oh, my you goodness. You got a couple of squash in here, too, already Squash growing. here. Yes. And you'll see in the backyard, there's another uh, vegetable garden that's, of course, going absolutely it's crazy. Nuts. It's It's good. I just... Uh, do you fertilize a lot? or? Um, we do, but I, I'm feeling like I almost need to be fertilizing a bit more with some stuff. Really? So, yeah. Well, everything is doing so beautifully. It's crazy. I think the water this year has made a huge difference. I think difference. the water... Oh, my yeah, gosh. That's one benefit you know, is all the plants are yeah, absolutely yeah. loving it. Yeah, and we really it. trim back a lot of these things, a lot of the salvias and the different sages we have. We trim back pretty, pretty close to the ground. Yeah, so I think that that's made it. So they kind of like difference. the rejuvenation yes. prune. Tell me about this plant okay. right here. This we're talking sensory, sensory. Oh, you guys, I for wish. The cuts and the smell. I wish that we could send I you. I wish. The scent <laughs> it's incredible. If you are a curry lover, you'll say, "Oh my gosh, this really does." smell like curry it smells exactly it like curry now, it's crazy um, i don't know the name of it okay i we'll it see if we can find it for a while and it gets pretty big it will be in bloom there will be yellow flowers these will be bloom yellow soon and then once they are done we'll trim it up again mm -hmm. shape it up but it's really great. And we have a neighbor down the street who is blind. He's been blind from birth. And his um, wife brings him down here. He's, he's gotten much older, of course, uh -huh. over time. Uh -huh. Anyhow, and he comes to this yard to smell and touch. I bet my he just... So it's super cool. Incredible. Yeah. And then tell me about during the pandemic, what everybody well, was doing. Well, during the pandemic, of course, we were all homebound. Right. Everybody was in masks. But the garden continued to bloom. So people would come, seemed like from far and wide, yeah. and they'd bring their children. And they'd come to look at the yard because you see, we have a lot of cool art in the yard. People would walk along and they'd point and they'd go, oh, well, look it, there's a Tonka truck here. <laughs> and there's some, there's some cats and there's a spider <laughs> and there's this frog here and oh, this praying just... mantis. It and of just course the crazy so goose fun. and they would sit down and hopefully you'll get a chance to see my big cat because he would come down the path and he would sit with them and let them pet him. He didn't care how long they stayed. I bet that just brought so, so much joy to so many people. Yeah. And the children, right? It was were, really oh cool. My it was very, I felt like that that was my contribution to the neighborhood. That's amazing. And anybody that gives, else that gives me chills. It was, it's uh, just so great. It was pretty fun. Oh, I just pretty love it. Fun, pretty it's fun. just amazing what a garden can do. Like not only is it for the gardener, but it's for everybody yeah. to enjoy it. It is. Gardeners, 
children yeah. and, you know we we all can enjoy this it means so much tell me about these gorgeous okay, roses David Austin roses you know I planted these oh my goodness I would say probably it's been 20 years ago oh my okay goodness okay so they're still kicking it it's great they the smell is like the no scent other. is crazy it is amazing it's crazy um, this one's looking a little scraggly at this point. I've got to go ahead and start deadheading. Well, but all the rain is, last week, I'm sure. Right. This but, is a oh. golden showers, and it's it's a tried and true. It it's smells so amazing. Incredible. It's beautiful to take. I took a whole bunch of these, put them in a bouquet, and the smell was over the top. I can imagine. Now, we don't know the we, name of this I one. I cannot I can't it's tell you what this one is. I just <laughs> twenty years ago. Ah, it's understandable it's to like, have lost where, it. Where's the tags? Where's so if you tags, all can, okay? David Austin Rose, yes, this beautiful, very fragrant, deep deep pink color yes. it's gorgeous right now you all know well if you've been watching my videos you know that my husband bought me a Gertrude Jekyll rose for Valentine's Day and I subsequently killed it unfortunately <laughs> but if you would like to see Gertrude Jekyll there you in are. the flesh super beauty I'm trying again this is oh, I'm sorry about my shadow this is the most beautiful rose I've ever seen it is so gorgeous it's smells so good it smells like a rose it smells That's like a classic it's rose it's so beautiful way. i am yes. so happy that you have this no, one i am too oh am it's too. so beautiful and i don't know you know this is evelyn back here and we i have it over on the other side over here mm -hmm. but it too is a very gorgeous and a lovely, lovely scent. Oh, I just saw a butterfly it, fly Yeah, by. there's a lot of butterflies. This yard brings in butterflies, bees, hummers. I mean, the birds of all sorts, right. as you said. Right. They, they're here. They're here. We, we uh, enjoy it. So yesterday, we had the pleasure to see another garden that was part of the Pence Gallery Garden Tour. Michael Glassman, he's a landscape architect. We loved seeing his garden. It was gorgeous. And I love that this garden is the exact opposite. opposite. Yes. There was, like you say, no plan. It no was plan. all just... This was my doing. I shoveled decomposed granite. I had an old van at uh, one point in time, and I took it out to one of the landscape places, and I loaded it up with rock, oh. and I brought it back, and I filled in. Around the edges here, you can take, take a look. These are pieces of concrete. <laughs> we did a remodel, and they were jack And that's what you up, used. And I saved it. Yes. Why not? Yes. It's going to go to the landfill. Right. Do you have an abundance of money that you would just want to spend on the, all the edging? It's, well, hey, you had to spend it to get it cracked up. Right. But the point is, is that <laughs> Might you, as well you use, use it, it, right? Use it. Oh, use I it. just love this, the organic feel of it. And you can tell this garden has just evolved over the yeah. years that it, you've been here. You can feel it when you're in here. You can feel it in this garden. It's, uh, it's really great. It's a very very wonderful place to come if you've got a lot on your mind. Yes. You can yes. come in here and you can start working. And that is when you are gleaning all of these rewards, the hours that you've spent here. Oh, I love and then you've helped your neighbors. Right. Right. Your neighbors can look at this and go, whoa, I'm really liking that. That's you know? amazing. It's, it makes everybody feel good. It does. It does. It does. Who you doesn't are... like a flower? <laughs> Who doesn't like texture like this? I mean, I don't know, but yeah. Oh, it's amazing. No. We forgot to talk about the sage oh, back the here. the sage, the sage. This. I mean, some people may ha may buy these um, sage sticks, you know, uh -huh. you buy them all wrapped up. Right, right. And you can burn them. Right. If you have any bad juju around in your house, you buy a new house and maybe you need to yeah, sage, sage the whole sage area. <laughs> there might be some other things in your life that need saging out. <laughs> So, so you can take this, bind it up, this white sage. It's incredible. It I was I was telling Sarah, Sarah Helen, I planted one of these in my oak tree garden bed. Mine is very tiny, but I just cannot wait for it to get to this size. And then it blooms as well. Yes, it blooms. It gets this very small um, flower. It almost has like a thin stem and then there's little uh, flowers on it. And I've also watched the birds come to it. Oh. Normally the finches. Okay. The finches are seed birds. Yeah. You know, and so they always are going for anything with seeds as they have done with the um 
uh, sunflowers, and then I also have a res Ru Russian sage, which is over on the other side. Oh, okay. And that, when it blooms, it gets a beautiful feathery kind of purpley flower, so and pretty. the birds come to it too. So pretty. So it's pretty great. So do you think about the colors you're putting in, or is it... Um, well... Do you think, oh, I need a red here? Sometimes. And, okay. Sometimes. It just depends. Okay. It just depends, because I do love a lot of texture. I mean... The African daisies, I don't know. I have been really excited about them this year because I have all these different varieties. Mm -hmm. This one in particular, I wish it was opened more, but it is phenomenal. It's beautiful and from what I can see. There's this one, and there's a three-dimensional one that's over here, which I was super attracted to because you can see all the layers. Oh, it's beautiful. In it. It's and beautiful. there's still a couple others on the other side. Yeah, I saw a couple kind of hidden yeah, here and hidden really there. Which is great too because you actually can easily pull off a hunk, dig a hole and stick it in. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, I'm oh, doing I, it all the time. Oh, I didn't know that. I should give you a hunk of mine. I have these beautiful white ones with a with, purple eye. I have some of those. Oh, do you? Yeah. Of course you do. <laughs> of course yeah. you do. Yeah. So oh, does. this is so beautiful. So this is a crepe myrtle. Great myrtle. Yes, and it is. look at her sweet peas. Look what she's done. I am copying her 100% next year. I'm going to grow my sweet peas up my crepe myrtle tree. It is, it's so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. And you've kind of done the same thing with the sign as well. Yeah. It's and I was, up there too. there's her sweet peas kind of growing up. And I was just telling her about the purple hyacinth bean that I grow up my sign. So and you'll have to get some. Yes. Seeds. Yes. I'll have to drop by some seeds. Yes. I have some okay. seeds. That's great. So That's gorgeous great. California poppies. They're so beautiful. Oh, oh, carpenter bee. Did you get them? Look at so oh. They get so laden with pollen. Sometimes they almost can't even fly. <laughs> So it's oh, they're fun. so sweet. Everywhere you look, you guys, there's something here. There's something here. The calendulas, I've actually thinned the calendulas out, and I just love them. They're a constant bloomer. You can take them, put them in your salads. They're kind of peppery, really delicious. That's and amazing. Plus it's great for garnish around a dish, even if you don't eat them. It's just really pretty. Tell me about the love in a mist. The love in a mist. Boy, this has been a hit. I'll tell you. People just are like, oh my gosh, what is this? What is this? What is this? And this is what it is. It's nigella, but I remember it as love in a mist. Yeah. These little buds, when they go to seed, they will give you millions of seeds. Mm -hmm. And you can, because this is all from seed that flew around last season. Oh, I see bees on it. And the bees are on it too. Oh, I love it. It is great if you want to take it and let it when it's all dry and you can make dried flower arrangements and add them to your dried flower arrangements. That's incredible. So, yeah. And then you were telling me, where do they eat this as seed? There was a man on the tour the other day mm -hmm. and he was from Iran. And mm -hmm. he said that he has family, they would collect the seeds and they would use them also for um, some of their dishes. Isn't that interesting? So I did not you know, know. Different cultures use a lot of different things that we don't even realize. Right, so that's right in our yard yeah, yeah. and we can use it. It's, oh it's my good. goodness, good, so. so incredible. Are, um, uh, what about this one right here, the fairy? This little fairy duster. Yes. Have you, I have never it, heard of this it plant. Is really this is cute, and I don't know what the botanical name is it for it, but it is wonderful. It almost looks like my mimosa tree that's in the back. Uh, hummers love it. It just gets these little feathery flowers on it, and the bees, hummers, they're they're on it. It's so it's so interesting. I've yeah. never seen this before. It, it really is. It's How I fun. I really like it myself and. Again, that's one of the things I kind of collect these things that are a little bit different for sure. I like it though. Yeah, I mean, I I think I've come across so many things that I've never actually seen before, maybe heard of, but yeah. never actually seen right, in real right, life right. before. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so there's another bit of, of the African daisy in here. Oh yeah. And the nigella also comes in white. I have white in the back. So, oh, it's beautiful. Um, there's, more, there, there's more blue out here that's dominant. I love this. It's pink, blue, orange, orange. orange. Yeah. And then these are butterfly bushes. Right. And they are both, this one is a little bit lighter purple. This one is like a deep, deep uh, magenta on the Oh, it's gorgeous. It's, uh, pretty amazing. And this is pretty established, it seems. Oh, gosh. These have been here for at least <laughs> 20 years. I mean, 
there's there's some things that have lasted all these years, which is hard to believe. Oh but, my uh, goodness! Yeah. Well, they're obviously happy in yes. this garden. Yes. I mean, this is incredible. They are. they are, and I have it. I wish that this little lantana it will be back prolific. Yeah. At some point in time, and it's pink and yellow. Oh, beautiful! I have a white one there, which is yeah. The really, white that, looks good. That one is, seems like it stays in bloom all yep. year round. I have some lantana that look like that yeah. right now. So and I have another one that's up there that's dark. Yeah, we may as well take the path. See, yeah, that's, that's the cool part. part. You don't always have to walk around the sidewalk. You don't have to go on the you, sidewalk. You got the path. Oh, I need more paths. You got I need to more have paths, paths in my garden for See, sure. It's, there's always because you never know what is going to be. Um, you are going to is going to uh, bring a surprise to you. I just walked by the sage and rubbed yes. against it, and oh, it just smells oh my so gosh, good. Right. Right, right. I can imagine your neighbor who's blind. I mean, this must just be yeah, it's pretty great. So wonderful it's for great. him. And then, and then this is first kiss. It's beautiful. It's a floribunda. I don't probably it is probably going on twenty years too. <laughs> Most of these roses that I have oh, now, I have kept forever. What is this one? And this pink one is one of the old ones. Gosh. And I don't remember the name, but oh, anybody who has had roses for a lot of years, they would know this. They one would know this because one. everybody had it. Okay. Okay. All right. So, and I think this is another one of those test roses. Oh, I so was, so tell okay. us about your test roses. I was telling um, Janie that this is an interesting how Jackson and Perkins offered test roses. Now. I guess they just tested them out to see how they would, and then you could buy them for a pretty good price. So kind of like a clearance sale yeah, type of yeah. thing. And this was a test rose. This is a beautiful yellow one here. I can see it starting to bloom yeah, up top. It's really nice. It's quite a prolific bloomer too. So you would buy the test roses from yeah. Jackson and Perkins, mm -hmm. throw them in your yard, yeah, and then they're absolutely they, beautiful. And that other yellow one. That's there's over one on the over other there. Side. Let me show you guys yeah, really fast. Oh, what is this? Oh, those are the, the um, gazania. Gazania? Isn't it Gazania? Because I get Gazania and Gallardi, Gallardia mixed up. Oh, but I, I think this know. is the Gazania. Oh, I don't know, but it's are, so pretty. See, you can oh. get a variety, variety of these and they um, will multiply <gasps> and they make a great border. Oh, uh, which is super cool. You can stick them in anywhere. Oh, I my goodness. Stick them in just kind of like I stick a lot of things in. Oh, it's <laughs> so amazing. Okay, let me show you guys the other test rows over here. Oh yeah, that's that one. That's oh, the there. smell. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, let me see if I can zoom in. See that one, you guys? Yeah, it's <laughs> it, like I say, you never know. They, you you they, need to name your test roses. I know, I do. Right? I name do. them after your sons. I, I really, yeah, I did. <laughs> I did, definitely. Oh, a, and then your but, African daisies. Yes. See these, see again, this is interesting because I took pieces here and put them over here and mm -hmm. some of them are very light. Mm -hmm. So we oh, don't right. know exactly why they did oh, that, funny. but it's the genetics of it all. Oh, and then the yarrow starting to bloom here. Yes, it is. So I can see it. That, that looks is. This is a really old rose here. And if you saw, it's not looking the best, mm. but it does actually, pro pro it's pretty prolific. The black spot, unfortunately, has been on it this year, but we yeah. had a mockingbird born in a nest <gasps> here last year. Oh, how sweet! I named it Mock. Mm -hmm. We got an opportunity to watch it grow. That's so and sweet. And it stayed in the yard and did test flights from one end to the other. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, it's pretty great. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you guys, look at this. See, look. there's another batch of that succulent. Oh, the suck. I mean, how long does it bloom for? Seems like all summer. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. Now what, when, when the blooms do dry up, mm -hmm. I usually will take my clippers and I will cut them. I cut the stems. Okay. Just to keep, just to clean them up. Keep and it then look. they will actually come back. So it's kind of like deadheading other things. Yeah. I mean, Betty Boop right there is in need of some deadheading at this point again. But it she looks has so, been so pretty. Prolific. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yes, totally. Um, More salvia lucantha here. Which is our favorite. Oh, and this is a Russian sage. Oh, okay. This is a Russian sage. It will have a long um, blossom. Well, it's kind of feathery blossom uh -huh. also, and it's blue, bluish purple. Yeah. And, oh, the birds, they, they come in later, finches. And they and love it. They love it. Oh, they, they oh it. my goodness. This is yeah. incredible. I haven't even seen over here. Is this you? This is you. Oh yeah, that's me too. Oh my goodness. 
that I have. That needs a little work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so incredible. It's that that's the next project is getting in there and kind of thinning some stuff. Yeah, out. but look at how beautiful. But you know, this sage here is just amazing. Uh -huh. This one is golly. It is prolific. And talk about smell. This is dynamite. This sage? Yes. Yes. Oh, it's and so I've good. made wreaths. Oh. Um, when they have dried and I've made wreaths. Oh out of them, my goodness. Which is great. And you can see all the flax is going It's incredible. Right now. So, Orange, red, purple. Yeah. I don't know, and even this coral. Was, was one that came from, I think, Kmart years ago. So Kmart? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, it's they definitely old. Back then. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Well, let's let's go in the backyard. I want to show them okay. the backyard. It's beautiful. Right. Well, here's Bob. Good old Bob. Bob. The best garden cat ever. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Bobby. Get it, get it. Bobby. Come on. Hey, Ben. Hi, sweetheart. Bob's 12. Yep. And he was a hit at the garden tour, I hear. He was a hit. Oh. Everybody pet him. He laid it on the, he was laying on the table over there. And, oh um, my goodness. Just soaking it all in. Just decided that this is what they needed to um, help them wow. to enjoy this yard even more. Oh, this garden is incredible. Now, you used to have a pool back yes, here? Yes, we had a pool back here. And, and the, the pool, pool started, started right at this point. And it went right here? Up. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Because there was a small step. And then you came out, and there was a redwood deck that ran all around it. Oh, my. So it served did, its purpose. It did. You had four boys. Four boys. So they it got was, their energy out in that. They did. Had and a lot of pool parties. Now the use of it is that, that lovely secret that garden. Much better. My secret garden. Let's go this right way. Here. I see more nigella. So you can see more nigella here. And I'm not sure if this one is white or blue. The one over at the fence, over by the fence, is white. Okay. These haven't really opened. What is yet. this? Uh, this is a chew you. I love cactus. This was a little tiny one that my friend had given me a piece of. Actually, you know, you can cut off an arm uh -huh. and you can let it heal for a, about a week uh -huh. and then you can put it in a pot. Oh my goodness. And they will grow. So I have given away pieces. Oh, I'm always good. excited about that. These actually will be blooms. Will they? Yes. Oh. So they're, they, the bloom is almost the color of the flax. Oh my it's goodness. It's really beautiful. That's incredible. But it, um, when I handle these, when I take them, I usually use tongs. <laughs> And it works really great that way. I Garden have, tongs. Yeah, yeah. I, I the, oh, here's your here's your toilet okay, top. Here's the toilet oh, top. That's too funny. Yes, we have a little succulent going here. We oh, have one I of Eileen's it. creations, which actually broke. I use them even if they break. Yeah, I put them in. Why not? Yeah, right. right? Exactly. Why not? Right. And our poppies. And it's beautiful. So, yeah, it's, it's got a lot of a uh, lot of things going on here. It's absolutely gorgeous. This actually used to be a fountain thing. This was one section. There's another over there. I've got it as a planter, and I've got it over here using it as a bird feeder. So oh my goodness! It, um, and it's, then you know okay. we we have to talk about this guy. <laughs> All right. So you know this is the latest addition to the garden. Okay. I've only had it for about two months. When I got it. It was going to be taken to the dump by my neighbors because they redid their bathroom. Now this was original bathtub that was in the house when it was built in the 60s. That's amazing. So You kept it out of the landfill. Yes, I did. And it looks so and fun. It looks so fun. And this is the back, the other portion of the bed frame which I painted this one. The one out front is still black. Is it? Yes. Oh, but I painted that and the lavender is growing through it. Lavender looks the gorgeous. The flannel bush is um, there. The flannel bush being a native California plant, it can get huge. We keep it cut. We you do. It. You we keep it. You cut it back. It's oh, good. it's absolutely yeah. amazing. Which way should we go? This way? Well, we can. You bet. Let's go okay, this Bob, way. Hey, Bob. You coming? Bob's telling Come us to go this way. Oh, so. In the meantime, oh, we've got salvias here and lots more lavender. My smoke tree, which I Beautiful adore. smoke tree. Rosemary, anytime you need rosemary for food, or I even put these in bouquets. Do you? And my bay trees, I actually use the bay for um, for bouquets. And, you know, you need a bay leaf. Hey, hey, I got one in my backyard. You got it. Okay, so standing right here. Here you have a little dining table right yes. here. But I was out here with Sarah Helen a little bit before we started filming, and I was standing here, and the smell was just, what am I smelling? Is it the rosemary? Is it 
the fennel? Is it the bay? It like, is it the rose? I know. It's There's just... their iris right here too that is quite quite fragrant too. So. It's beautiful, you guys. And there's an old rose back here, a bourbon rose that is nice. This garden and the is, I mean, this, I think the thing to get from this garden is that you adding layers, adding scent, adding sight, even sound, right? Right. I, I mean, yeah. this is so incredible. It's such an experience to be in here. It's incredible. And fun art. You can't. Yeah, fun yeah. art. Yes, of always have to have and art. And meaningful art. Yes. It, se it seems like everything yeah, you have is, is meaningful to you, which it is. I think is beautiful. It is. Many of the things are things my friends have made. Oh, my In goodness. fact, um, I never mentioned you this table, mm -hmm. but... It used to have glass on it, and it, the glass broke. Uh -huh. So my friend Eileen Hendren, who is a ceramic artist, um, 20 years ago when I turned 50, oh. we went to her house and we made this table. Oh, how fun! So that is the very special. How sweet, because well, then you can fun. sit here and think of that. That's, yeah, that's wonderful. 20 years. I'll be oh. 70 in August. Oh. So we'll be <laughs> Well, you anyway, look good for some time. I wouldn't have Still guessed that. Good, honey. Still feeling good. Okay, You're looking so good. This well, is our other toilet. Okay. I just had had the best fun. <laughs> I bet this was a hit at the garden tour, oh, right? It was. Oh, people love I bet this. Me. People love, love this. That's and my friend funny. had actually given me this particular. I don't even. I, this cactus. They have them. I've seen them around in, in Vegas. They have them in different dry gardens. Do they? Before. And I've seen them when we were at Anza Borrego when they have a they have like a um, arboretum area. Oh boy! And, but this was a very it was pretty small when she gave it to me. It has had a few years to grow. It looks like the toilet's like exploded. And, exactly, exactly. It is. Like somebody clogged it a little. I know, man. It just kind of went out this somebody way and Somebody ate a burrito or other. something. Right. But it, it's pretty crazy. And it oh, was it's so a hit. funny! Yeah, oh, I yeah. absolutely love it. And then and then we have um, a bedpan, and I really. I don't even remember where this one came from but it has been used now as a holder for succulents and i've got my nutrition is that a there. sewing machine yes it is okay that is a sewing machine because i am a seamstress and um, one of my friends had made this for a, another um sculpture and um it came apart Aww. so i thought hey i'm liking that sewing machine by itself and put it in the bedpan exactly i mean that's perfect I mean, hey, that's the perfect gotta, spot for it it is i mean like i say every place you can see you have the bird cage over there and we've got we've got the funny. morning glory the morning glory is oh, growing in there now so you're protecting that uh from, uh, from the, birds. the birds yeah because you had some morning glory in your bathtub yes and, and the birds jumped off mm -hmm. those beautiful little leaves. well they're just too happy right. they just like it right. here yeah and we've got some nasturtiums. nasturtiums and i used to be a cheesemonger and uh, we used to get our feta cheese at the co-op oh in my. those cans oh my so goodness. i had a sage can Anyway, yes, I do. Recycle. So you're a felt artist, yeah. you're a textile artist, you're a cheesemonger, cheese you're a gardener. <laughs> and I raised four boys. That oh, yeah, all hard, that. That was the hardest job all. That was oh, all that. the hardest job. Definitely. Oh, tell me about Definitely. this. Okay, this Berkeley sedge. It is a super cool grass. Oh, my goodness. It's beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. And I keep it trimmed because you can see it gets pretty big. Yeah, But yeah. it's pretty resistant to pets and people, I mean, you can chomp the stamp all over it. And, and it'll, it'll handle it come fine. Back pretty well. Oh, wow. And I'm sure that it, again, is another batch of something I picked up probably 15 years ago. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it's done really well right here. It's been just kind of a cool spot to have it. I've, and this is north facing, right? Is yeah. that right? Yeah. So a little bit more shade, but it seems to be perfectly happy. But I think happy. you actually can put it into where there's more exposure to. Probably. But I have to mention my mimosa tree. Oh, yeah. Because this was a volunteer. Oh. It. And they and this will drop the seed pods, and you will find volunteer mimosas all around the all yard. All over the place. I love I love mimosa trees. I, I think they're so too. beautiful, but I'm so scared to put one they're, in my garden. I, I love them, and the like. Look at this. Look at this dappled love shade. It. Love it, it's love it, love so it. It's so beautiful. It's beautiful. They have a gorgeous blossom. It was meant to be here. It was. I mean, it's the perfect it spot is, for it. It is, because we don't have a lot of shade back here. We didn't. But now it's coming on. Now, which yes. Which is great. I, I love and it. And after it. adding the, sh the shade cloths, which yes. have been really, really wonderful. Goodness. Here, that's a, you need it. It's, you yeah. need it here. Yeah, we do. And, um, hey, sweetheart. 
You're so sweet. Oh my, my goodness. I have to mention my Meyer lemon tree mm -hmm. is prolific this year. Is it? Unbelievable. And I have a, a navel orange over here that was also prolific. Oh my goodness. So what is was, this orange one? This here? is Malo. There's oh. a lot of different kinds of Malo, and this one is when they're putting in in a lot of areas now especially if you walk the green belts okay. around here yeah they have put these in because they get huge and i've had to be out here and hack this one pretty consistently in fact i've been tempted to take it out really because it's really big so i need to be sure that i keep it in control well i love that you're not afraid of planting things that are going to get out of control because i think a lot of people are really afraid like oh that might be invasive or oh that's going to reseed yeah just come out here and take care of it <laughs> right <laughs> Well, but not everybody wants to do that. I know. So, I know. And you have to you be know, willing to, to do it. Absolutely. And, and you got, it is, again, there are people who love gardening, and then there are those who do not want to have any to do with absolutely it. so so I, they can come and they can enjoy exactly, exactly, the front yard exactly. <laughs> and they we can, can we can take joy in pulling the reseeds right, you know right, the, the right, little seedlings right, right, and all right, that kind right. of stuff yeah but well. I just love that about your garden is that you see so many things that people would you know I could I could imagine people say oh don't plant that I that's know. Nigella's gonna uh, go exactly. everywhere that's it's exactly like, but it's so beautiful it's but so it's, incredible. It is. And I told people that were on the garden tour, I said, so you get a million plants, just pull them out. It's really easy. Just take them out. It's not like when you plant flag iris and that is like taking out cement. So I would <laughs> definitely, unless you have Don't a do fog that. <laughs> around your house that you want it there, you have some crazy thing yeah. out in, in the country. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing I would totally be against. I feel that so. way about wild onion. Yeah, well, that can be crazy too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, it's it's, it's so beautiful. I love the pathways. And the this is the hummingbird sage right here, oh, which nice. it can actually be kind of invasive too. Mm -hmm. But again, you can pull it out. Right. And the hummers love it, the bees love it, so. And you're surrounded by, you're, you're surrounded yes. by cement. And, yeah. You know, it's so beautiful. The that star jasmine? jasmine? Oh my goodness! It's been here since we, um, <gasps> since I moved in, and it was, it was a part of a. Are you kidding? Uh, yeah, it's had a history. Oh my good! And so it, this. The... It was when when I got this house. Yeah. There was a jasmine here, mm -hmm. and there was a jasmine over on the other side. Oh there was goodness. actually like a pergola up here. Oh, that was came... that part of the pergola? Yes. <gasps> so it oh came across, and it covered the top. Oh At my one goodness. I thought it was fabulous. Oh, yes, so, I can imagine. But over time, then, this has been the only one that's lived. It's incredible. And during our crazy storms this year, mm -hmm. it fell over. Oh my it goodness. It still was in the ground, but it fell over. So this young man that we have that help, you know, once in a while he'll he'll put poles and things in for us. Mm -hmm. We ask him to come over and he put the braces in. Oh good. And then I trimmed it up again. Oh good. It but looks gorgeous. It will be ready to bloom. It's any so time close. Now. It's so it's close. So close. I can so close. see. Yeah. I yeah, can yeah. see the blooms. They talk about smells and oh gosh, this trumpet vine is just crazy this it's year. So beautiful. It is. I need this in my life. It's beautiful. I absolutely need this one in my it's life. A, it's, it's a so really, gorgeous. really pretty one. It um, with that lavender color. It's so pretty. Okay, let's okay. this one over here because okay. this one I wasn't really familiar with. This is. Um, you will see this on the coast. This Pride of Madeira. This particular one is pretty drought tolerant and heat resistant. Mm -hmm. You know, heat resistant and, and then it poor soil seems to manage pretty well with oh, poor yeah. soil. Yeah. But the wind has kind of brought it down. Yeah, we, we've it's... had so many storms. Yes. Like all the plants that aren't used to these type of storms, you can see my whole garden is kind of smashed down more yeah. than it normally yeah. is. No, it is. But the color but the of color, this. You do, I just, that's the one thing I have not enough in blue in my garden. Blue. It's so the hard. Blue is really it's so dry. hard. It's just, uh, and some of the plants that you can grow that are blue need more shade. I know. And I don't have the shade. I know. Well, you but. have this, um, don't you have a plumbago somewhere? Did you have a plumbago? Oh, no. Uh -uh. Somebody else. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I will have a 
This is one of those um, big lilies coming on here. Oh, the, beautiful. The really smelly big lilies. Yes. Lily. So that one will be, and that's a pink one. Oh, beautiful. That, you see all the nigella. So I want to. Oh, I, here's, wait, here's the oh, white nigella. Oh, there we go. Okay. It looks a little different. It's pretty great. It has it's a little bit beautiful. more dimension to it. It's absolutely beautiful. And then when they're done, they kind of look like that. There's like yes. a seed pod. Yes. And then this kind of ferny stuff around right. it. It's right. so incredibly beautiful. Oh, I just love this. So you have that's uh, Eileen Hendren again. Oh. She's a, I, I may as well have, you would say that this could be her garden. She's almost. your bestie, <laughs> she <is> right? Bestie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. then we have a, like, uh, what you we, call it? We make a lot of pesto and we love basil. So our, her partner is inside cooking right now and I just walked he, through the yeah, kitchen. He, he's really great cook. Oh. He's a great cook. We both cook together. It's very fun. That's it's amazing. Fun. It smells so good. Yeah. <laughs> we've got the purple basil, which pretty soon you can see it's starting to flower. And when these get really a lot of flowers, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, we'll take them off the flowers and we eat them fresh and we also dry them. Oh we can put them out here and dry in the sun and then take them in and we've got dried purple basil all year round. Oh my it's goodness. Super great. I couldn't believe that you said you eat the flowers. Oh gosh, they're so good. I'm so excited. It so, <laughs> it's I'm so good. Because I'm going to be eating them this year. Because most of the time people throw them away. Yes, that's what I do. Yeah. I'm like, oh shoot, it yeah, bolted. No, 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 oh no. 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 no, eat the flowers. Well, I'm going to steal a couple cuttings yeah, of bet. this. So this one is Black Mountain. Is that is what that, it was? Is that one the um, Magic Mountain? Magic Mountain. And then this one is the wild, um, magic. wild magic so i'm and then this is the lemon basil yeah, the mrs burns yes, that i absolutely that love really like. oh it, and this is that and the first it, year you're doing the mrs burns yes oh it's yes. so good you'll so love that, it because i love the lemon thyme that we have over yes here. It's great and we've got a couple peppers and i never knew that you could grow zitar and if you're familiar oh. with that herb it's i've heard usually, it to me a combination of some other um herbs mixed together but we'll see how this one we'll is. see we'll i'll be we'll interested to see yeah and then her tomatoes tomatoes are going i mean tomatoes are going you guys have seen my tomatoes they're about this tall at this point and hers are all the way up to the top it's they're, incredible they're excited about it i mean it's, these are not heirlooms either these are kind of old time ones that supposedly will be tried and true because we've had i've had trouble with heirlooms i have too i don't yeah. know yeah I, I grew an heirloom last year and i think i got one tomato off yeah. of it and it's like well yeah that's what i don't have a ton of space for one tomato I know. right no. and that's what we said too Ugh, so this is another trumpet vine which will be bright orange oh my goodness and i actually thought it was dead at one point but obviously it isn't it looks so in, it looks so along. happy oh my goodness look at this so Sarah Helen loves cutting flowers, giving them to people. You are a kindred spirit to we, mine. I, know, I, know. I just love it. And so, all right, I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. You see these right here. Mm -hmm. These are the globes that were oh, no. that housed light oh, bulbs my goodness. on a fan. Okay. How did you do that? So, How? Oh, there's another little thing in it. There is a vase inside of it oh, because I, I wanted to hang... I, I I don't even know where I got these ages ago. I sprayed them, and then I thought, okay, this would be really cool to have bouquets in them. So I thought, what could work? What could work? Well, I have these little actually things. These things actually oh my for goodness. candles. Oh my god! So <laughs> it's now, so good. Again, again it, it fits. It works it perfectly. Does. It does. And I was thrilled because I thought I can't put a base. I can't put flowers in here without a bottom. No. What are you gonna so, do? Yeah. But oh my goodness! But you know, you can use these globes again, and you could actually put them if you have, and you could put clean candles in here. I'm sure so, that'd be amazing. I just um, get rid of this. I was like, oh my gosh, there's gotta be a reason I can keep these. That's so, amazing. It's, it's pretty fun. I ha yeah. so I walked through this garden before we started filming, and I'm walking through again, and I'm seeing double the amount of stuff that I just missed as I walked through the front. I mean, you just keep looking and there's something else in yeah, this garden. There is. It's incredible. That's what's fun about it because you can just go and you can look and look. It's not. And you can say, oh, what's that? Yeah, oh, what's that? Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely no. gorgeous. Thank you. Okay, let's do one more okay. loop over here All and right. then yeah, I'll come this can. way. And we do have mint growing outside of a container. Which, uh oh, you know, how dare you? I know, I know, how dare you? <laughs> we make an amazing mint sauce. Oh. <laughs> but the lemon, the lemon thyme, I love, love, love. You were talking about lemon basil. Oh, this lemon yeah. thyme is fab. I'm and, growing the golden lemon thyme this year. Well, I'm excited about it. It will be it. great. And again, oh, pollinators. So, oh, look, and your white 
Yeah, love the nigella there. Oh, yeah, it's so Nigella. pretty. My, what is this right here? That is a cape jasmine. Mm. And it has, when it blooms, it will be big, long, bright orange. Oh, my goodness. Yes. And the Hummers love, love, love. Oh. The Hummers love all of these salvias. I'm they sure. They adore them. I'm and they're really, the, all of these are so easy to take pieces of and put them in your ground. I mean, it's, it's just, I met a lot of people at the garden tour mm -hmm. that we are actually going to start sharing plants back <gasps> Oh, that's so sweet. So, oh, I just love that so fun. much. I just love that. Yeah. That is one of my favorite things, propagating and growing something, you know, yourself, putting it in your right. yard and being right. so proud right. that you did it, yeah. you know? Yeah. No. I just love right. it. Well, I'm, so, I'm sorry that this isn't in bloom, but it will soon be. It's one of those kind of wild um, sunflowers oh. with the long stems. It's oh, it's gets all these stems and tons of blooms little yellow sunflowers oh my oh, goodness oh how fun well then, i will have yeah. to come back and see oh, when yes, everything's because yes. i bet you in two weeks this whole garden It'll be is different it will be completely different yeah, yeah. oh thank you so It'll much be well my pleasure i this is a passion it, it is i can a tell passion. i love it it's never too much work i yeah because it's the joy of it. it is. It's the mindfulness of the work, it is. right? It is. Oh, you it's are so just, inspiring. It, it, I just, <laughs> I well, just <laughs> and I and now that I'm retired, it's really great Good because for you. I can spend umpteen hours out, out here oh, if I want. Good for you. Because I am just because it is such a a, a really. It does mind, body, and spirit. Yeah. Bottom line. Yeah, and you can just tell talking to you. You can tell how much. It, how much joy you get from yes, it, which yes. just, it emanates and I'm feeling it and I want to go home and garden and take cuttings from you. No, it's good. It's great. Good. All right, everyone. So thank you so much for joining us. I want to thank you so oh, much. Thank you. This I'm was so the good. most beautiful, most romantic, most I don't even like <laughs> like eclectic art garden I've been in. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you thank for you. sharing it with thank us. You. I am so glad I could. I, ho I hope that all of you will feel it because I, it's definitely from my I think it comes across. I mean, yeah. you as soon as I pulled up, it was like, <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> Took your breath away. <laughs> Took my breath away. So thank you all so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today. You bet. Enjoy. Thanks.